Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Amnesia by 710 Cornell. This is the second bag I've reviewed by 710, I believe. I did the Enigma a while back. I think that's the only other bag I've done. I've got quite a few 710 bags I wanted to review. I've been holding off because availability, they haven't been the most available bags, so it, it, I, I don't always like reviewing a bag and then saying, well, this is a great bag, but you can't go get it anywhere. I, it, I, I've done a few that way. I, I don't like to do a lot of them, but 710 has done a Great job with making their bags more readily available. I'll get into that when in, in, later in the video when I get into availability. But they're becoming more and more available, easier to get. And so I thought, you know, let me dive in and start doing some more reviews. So let's go ahead and break down this amnesia. And we'll start here with the design. This is uh, one of my favorite designs they have. It's, it's kind of a psychedelic design. You have the skull with the mushrooms on it and just kind of a trippy looking design. I think it's pretty cool. They do have it in different colorway options. I, I, I actually bought these. I had to order them back when you had to message um message matches them directly and tell them hey i want to set and whatever and i picked this color i just, I just like the color the colors pop that's pretty cool uh, but yeah it, it's a great design i, I love pretty much all the design seven days they're doing a great job with their designs uh the this bag is not acl stamped it's not even aco stamped there's no stamp on it so just keep that in mind if you're looking for a stamped bag uh, no, i don't think any of 710 bags are stamped guys up yet i don't know what their plans are down the road but as of right now as this recording they, they are not stamped material wise on this bag we'll start here with the slow side this is that slide rate material it's the same slow side you find on the all slides the fire incinerator slow side uses this it's actually the same slow side material that the pro sniper uses but this is the the pro sniper uses the back side of this this is the front side material the pro sniper uses the back side the enigma i did which is there which is 710's pro sniper version of the pro sniper they i think i even mentioned there that it had the same materials as the amnesia but the enigma uses the back side and this is that front side very this is a very similar and it's often confused with the bg viking the pro advantage fast side that that material there it, it's it looks a lot like it feels a lot like it they, they're i think they're kind of in that same fabric family they get confused a lot so but this is is it's similar to that is not quite the same and the big difference is that that viking pro advantage material is much softer uh and it makes it a little more reactive to moisture so when those boards get sticky and damp from humidity that material tends to slow down a little bit quicker this still kind of moves a little faster it doesn't slow down as much so it's still going to play you know a little bit truer to its speed which makes this bag a little bit better option for those humid conditions humid climates if you if you're playing a lot of humidity but you like a faster version of a bag then you might want this material over that Viking Pro Advantage Fast Side material on your bag. So anyway, it's a seven speed material. Uh, it's it's fast but controllable. It's a wonderful material, very whole friendly. Fast side on this, this is that Pro Sniper Deadhead Viper Fast Side nine speed crazy fast. Talk about a ton. Everybody uses it. Uh, you know, it, it slides up any board conditions and pushes or anything. So we're looking at a seven and nine speed bag. Template wise, I'm gonna call this a medium template. It really it really kind of fits down the middle. Uh, which it's a wonderful template size. It's got a decent amount of fill, so it's not crazy floppy, but it's definitely not full at all. It's got some flop to it. So, you know, if you, again, the, the Enigma I reviewed was a little bit larger template, a little bit floppier bag. Now, I think they did have a couple, they do have a more of a, a template of the Enigma that's more of this medium template, but the one I reviewed was a little bit larger, a little floppier bag, closer to that Pro Sniper. This is definitely a little bit little more of a medium, a little bit fuller bag. So if you don't like that floppy bag, this may be a better option for you. Um, gives it a great hand feel. It's also got that flat disc feel in there that everybody loves. So you got that that nice hand feel with a nice amount of feel for hand feel. A nice flat disc gives you that fluid hand feel to it. It lands pretty soft, pretty true. Runs pretty straight at the board. Very little kick, very little movement on there at all. So 7.9 speed bag on this. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into playability. I've talked a little bit about it, but this is definitely a bag that you're just to, you're just setting out to run bags in the hole with. You know, you're putting your four bags in, you're outscoring your opponent. This is not really a bag that you're going to be throwing a lot of blockers with. I mean, you can you can control this material down and you can put a blocker there, but because it's such a fast material that when that when that bag's sitting there, it's not really going to offer much resistance. So if, if your opponent pushes into it, it's just going to move out of the way. It's not going to stick and cause a bag to kick off. It's, it's more of a visual obstacle if it's a blocker. But again, it's not a bag that you're really trying to throw blockers with. When I'm throwing a bag like this, if I leave a blocker, it's just because my bag was a little short. It wasn't an intentional blocker. Because I, I tend to, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fast bag player. Usually I tend to like to throw a little bit slower bags. But when I do throw a faster bag, my goal when I throw a bag is just to get it to kind of sl sl slap the, the board and just drip or melt right in the hole. I, I want this just the perfect speed so it drips right in. That way if I go a little deep or a little hard, it's still, it's still not going to fly over the back. and still hit the back wall and drop in. And if I'm a little soft or a little short when I throw my bag, It'll still land and stop right in front of the hole, which makes it very collectible. Um, you know, these materials are wonderful for for pushing up things. So if you do leave a bag short, it's no problem collecting. In fact, you can stick to the slow side and just push right through it. The only time I go to fast side is if I'm trying to push through more than one bag 
or I mentioned for my fourth bag, I want to make sure I push fall through. Or if my opponent has a blocker there, maybe I want to really hit into it and bully them out of the way and take mine in. I'll go slick side to really get a good hit on there to bully them out of the way. But most of the time, I mean, 90% of the time, I'm throwing slow side with this back just because it's it's a wonderful material. It's very controllable. Both materials are very hole friendly. There's really no issues with this bag really hanging in a hole or sticking. It, 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 they're going in the hole. Uh, if they don't and they do stop, again, they're very collectible no matter what. I mean, even a bag hanging in the back, you know, just the vibration of other bags hitting will probably bring it right back in because the, 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 the materials are pretty slick. They're slick enough, not going to stick, and they're very hopeful and they're going to melt right in for you. Uh, the, the one thing I will say is is being a little bit fuller, not quite as floppy a bag. I talk about the the forgiveness, you know, that landing zone you have. You, you know, typically a faster bag, I like a little bit larger or floppier bag because it gives me a little bit larger landing zone. So if I'm a little off left or right, I can still grab the hole and drip it and, and catch it, spin around and come back in. These bags will still, if you if you can get them up by the hole, if you're a little off, it'll, they'll still dip in, grab, spin around. But because it's not as big and floppy, that landing zone isn't as wide as you would have on, say, you know, that Pro Snipe or even that Enigma I reviewed where that has a little bit bigger, you know, or even that, that Southwest Hex that I reviewed a while back had, you know, that was just a, a larger bag, just had a huge landing zone. This one's not quite as big, but again, it's still going to grab the hole for you. So if, you know, if, if you're looking for a fast bag, but you don't like the large floppy bags, this Amnesia is the one for you. And this is really, because it's not that bigger, floppier template, it is wonderful for getting around bags. This, this is the type of bag, and I mentioned this when I talked about the Ambush. I mentioned I talked about the B3 Ranger. When I get a bag like this, my mindset is, if my opponent throws a blocker, I don't want to push to him. I don't want to collect it. But maybe I'm not feeling like I want to airmail over. But what you can do is, you're not really cutting. This material will cut. It's not cutting hard, but you can make a little bit of cut. But I'm going to throw a cut back, and the idea is to hit into their bag, bully it out of the way, and put my bag in and push them so maybe it's a little further off the hole, a little harder from the collect or at least make them work to collect their bags. You know, as a slow back thrower, I know that when I throw a slow sticky bag and put it on my opponent's side, I'm kind of somewhat hoping they're going to collect it for me or at least get it back into my side, especially if I get aggressive on their side. As a, as a, when I'm throwing a fast bag, it's a slow back player. I know that's what they're doing. I want to leave that bag and make them try to collect it. And this bag does a great job of getting around and still getting the hole and not taking in that blocker bag. You can also, I mean, obviously this is a great airmail bag, or you can throw airmail. I mean, I, there's not a lot of bags that, that aren't great airmail bags, but probably the only bag I don't like to airmail with are this puffy bag. So smaller puffy bags, because they didn't want to hit and bounce as opposed to hit and fall back in if you miss. But it's a wonderful airmail bag, so you always have the option to airmail over. Again, you can push through, so the blocker's there, airmail over, you can push through it. But I, again, I prefer to throw the get around shot, leave that bag there, and make my opponent collect them, and punish them if they don't, make them give up points for trying to trying to get in my way, so to speak, right? And you do that enough, they stop throwing the blockers, and now all of a sudden, if, if I've got this bag and they've got a, a carpet bag, and we're just doing a hole-for-hole hole type game, this Amnesia is gonna, out, is gonna outscore that carpet bag pretty much every time. It's That's just what it's designed to do. So if you like a fast bag, seven, nine speed bag, and you like to just run bags in the hole, it, this Amnesia is a wonderful bag for you. I, I had a blast throwing it, it's a phenomenal bag. Like the only knock on it again, it, it, there is no stamp. So if you if you play an ACL event or you're playing an ACO event, but right now you can throw them this year, but starting next year you're gonna have to have an ACO stamped bag. So you're not gonna be able to bring the amnesia out. But all in all, if you're playing local events, non you know non ACL ACO events, the amnesia is wonderful. I highly recommend it. I had a blast throwing it. Availability on this 710 does have a Facebook page 710 Cornhole, and it's seven spelled dot S E V E N, and then the number 1010 Cornhole.com. I'll put a link in the description for you 710Cornhole.com. You can go there and they have bags. They actually have a they usually have a they have a, a, a section, I think it's typically called Buy It Now, which are the bags that are typically in stock at that time. As of this recording, there was a set of Amnesia, a different colorway, but a set in stock available to order. They are $125 for a set that does include shipping. Kind of on the higher end, definitely not the most expensive bag. You know, one twenty five, which includes shipping, is not an awful price. It's still not up there with the the ultras, the cornhole scenarios, and those crazy outrageous prices up there. So it, it's 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 reasonable. You know, it, again, higher end, but it's it's a great bag. I you know, if if you're looking for a bag like this, don't let the price scare you off. I think they're well worth it. Seventeen also does do drops and different releases, so you want to check out there. They have a Facebook group, and uh, they also are pretty active on social media. I think Instagram, TikTok, something like that. I'll put links that I have to their social media and in the in the description as well. You want to know those because sometimes they'll announce upcoming drops, upcoming releases if they have something special coming out. Uh, you want to be aware of that. So all in all, 
Um, I definitely recommend them. I had a blaster on these bags. I'm, I'm a huge fan of 710 Cornhole. I'll have some more reviews coming out for you. If you have a bag of theirs that you want me to review, drop a comment down below. Let me know what it is. If uh, if I don't have it, I'll try to get it. If I have it, I'll try to bring it out to you for, for the next review. So I thank you guys so much for support and thank you for watching.